When you first heard those comments from Rosen, what went through your mind? I would run and give up a first-round draft pick for that kid in a trade. If I'm a team that needed a quarterback, I would run to the Cardinals and give up my first-round pick because right now what he's going through is really a test. It's a test, and hearing him talk, he aced that test. This is a kid who's been football-wise through a lot. That was a storm last year that he was in in Arizona. And you're hearing him talk and going, I'm ready, I'm maturing, I'm growing. If he was entitled, if he was this brat that some people think he is, he wouldn't say that stuff. He wouldn't say, and it felt real to me. It felt connected. There's so much there for this kid. He is ace. I loved hearing it. I loved hearing what he said. Yeah, I, I think it's important that the context of his history be put into the conversation. Laura, you covered him in college, which is where all this started. Get, for those who are not really fully aware, give a very quick synopsis of that. Yeah, I think if you go back through his career as a football player, he's been questioned at every level and has always been so talented. And you, you go back to his time at UCLA, there were times when he would deal with injuries. He'd be on the sideline and people would be saying, oh, maybe he's not really hurt. Maybe, maybe he's actually fine. Maybe he should be out there. Maybe he's not being tough enough for his team. He would continually get beat up. I mean, specifically, you go back to that Texas A&M game that we're seeing right here that he led his team on a huge comeback and just got annihilated there. There were questions about that all the way through, even in last year's draft. Remember, he was upset that he had fallen as far as he did to the 10th pick in the draft. He felt like he should have been drafted higher. He felt like people still doubted him, and he's been able to, in some ways, capitalize on that, I think, with the way he's matured. And the point that we make here all the time, Dan, and I, we've had good conversations about it far more quarterbacks are ruined than developed in pro football going into pro football and this kid is already on his way to overcoming all of that how many different coaches and offenses has he been in whether he's in Arizona this year or not this will be his sixth coach in five years imagine a six different boss a six uh, six different ways to do something six different versions of how you're talked to and expected to execute a plan imagine doing that six times in five years it's basically impossible I mean, last year, he had the bottom five defense, a bottom five offensive line, and a bottom five run game. What would you expect? And he has, coming off last year, he has every right or opportunity to be like, last year wasn't fair to me. This is not fair. I'm a better player than that. But no, he's going, it is what it is. I'm going to control what I can control. That's my job. And he even said winning was intoxicating. He said winning was intoxicating. He wants to go be somebody's guy. I think he also sees that, to your point, being somebody's guy somewhere else could be beneficial to him if that's what actually happens.